Well, hello everybody. It's right around noon on Tuesday afternoon. I think this is October 2. Uh, maybe the first. No, I think it's the second. Uh, maybe it's the first. I really don't know nor care. Uh, it's a beautiful day out here. It's a little toasty. This was the retaining wall. And you can see the rotted timbers, those are railroad ties that we took out for the most part. Uh, I probably can just leave the ones that are there, there, and they'll just uh, uh, rot normally. But we are going to rebuild this. We were quoted a price of $7,500 to put in a concrete wall, which is approximately 30 feet long from that, uh, what's left over that little walkway bridge there, all the way to basically the first post by the belt. Uh, that ain't going to happen. We then uh, had another guy come in. He never gave us an estimate, but I'm assuming it's going to be around five grand. Well, my little pea brain decided that was too much, and we designed a way in which to do this using our famous 30 anchor, 30 inch, pardon me, 34 inch ground spike anchors that contain a 4x4 collar that holds, as you can see, that post. Uh, that's a short one that was just used for uh, demonstration purposes. And uh, attached to that will be what is called a duckbill ground anchor, which will hold 1,100 pounds each. There are eight uh, posts, so you're looking at just about 10,000 pounds uh, of holding power to hold back a little bit of the dirt that we f have found has slightly sagged over the last 20 years. We're also going to underpin uh, right where you see that uh, roll around cart. We're going to put a concrete pad, a preformed concrete pad underneath after we dig it out and put a car jack underneath that, crank it up with a steel plate on the top of it. That will solidify that uh, corner of the pad from going anywhere anytime soon. And then the rest of this will be filled in. The wall actually will be filled in with uh, treks decking uh, 12 inch, pardon me, five and a half inch by 12 feet long. We'll need two courses of five that will give us approximately 47 and a, 42 and a half inches tall and a little bit of uh, overhang from each post which will get a copper topper and uh, we're going to put lattice work between each of the four foot posts. Uh, they are four foot tall and four foot from one post to the next. At that point we bring in uh, about six, uh, I think, six cubic yards of dirt, uh, fill dirt and or topsoil and fill it all in and Karen will have another beautiful garden going very, very, pretty much from the last post that you see uh, to the left of the travel trailer all the way to this corner. So I've got my work cut out. I have to install uh, all seven posts. Uh, the first two are actually done. I have to do five more, six more. Uh, they're sitting in the van all nice and stained and cut to 48 inches high and s sealed and uh, stained and all this good stuff. So when we get done, the color of the, the Trex slats will be pretty much identical to that of the dark walnut stain that we've uh, stained the 4x4 posts with. So I will take some pictures of the before and after. Again, we had to clear out. You can see all of the debris from there. I took a lot of it home last week and these I'll just cut up with the Sawzall. Uh, they're mostly rotted through anyhow. Strangely enough, no bugs were found in any of the, the rotted wood. I guess they just don't like that creosote or whatever the heck is in there. So that's it from uh, this installment of the new wall. Build that wall. Make America great again and all this good stuff. Talk to you later. I'll take pictures. Bye.